I'm here with Jeremy Martin, and Jeremy has identified himself as a connector. So we're going to hear from him today in his own words, out there in the wild. You can see he's in his car, and he's going to tell us what it's like to be a connector. What are some of the superpowers? What are some of the challenges? Take it from there, Jer. What's up, Josh? Yeah, um, so as a connector which was cool to discover my voice. I never understood my voice until we went to the five voices. And after we did that, it was incredible because it helped me to really realize where my strengths were at and identify why things in life were a little bit easier maybe than other things. As a connector, when I was uh, younger, I used to always say I could go out there and make friends for people. So um, just the ability to make friends and connect with people, different levels, um, you know, whether it's different like classes or, you know, just different backgrounds. I could instantly go into a group of people, meet people, and instantly I could just find people and connect with them. It's almost like it's creating like this web and this network of, of contacts and people that you know. So it, it's a very easy process for me, and I never realized that that's just because that's a natural gifting and that's my natural primary voice. So, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I, I utilize that skill mostly in my role in sales and the ability to be able to just connect with people, I think is very key. And um, it definitely makes my job fulfilling and it also makes my job very easy in that sense. That's incredible. Thanks for thanks for sharing that, man. Just from your perspective, what it's like to be a connector. I know there's some connectors out there watching, and they understand they understand a fellow connector. Anything else you yeah. want to say about um, your superpowers as a connector? Um, yeah, you know, honestly, it's it's the ability to bring people together in a room, and it's the ability to be able to also no contacts for other people so though you know sometimes the ability to be able to, to bridge to create a bridge for some to learn to very valuable uh, asset as a connector the ability to be, you know and talk with someone with uh, hey i've got you know i'm looking looking for this or i'm trying to make this happen in my life and sometimes i might you know go out to that this uh, branch on the web and be like you know i actually know somebody in that space that's able to like that might be a, a bridge for this person to help them get to where they're trying to get to. So it's, it's even that, too, where it's able to help people, which I think is very fulfilling as a connector because a connector, I've learned, is it's just very relational. So it, it, it's satisfying when you're like, you know what, this is cool. I'm able to help this person out by just saying, hey, call this person, email this person, here's this person's contact, and let them, you know, go from there. Yeah. I mean, what a – yeah, what an awesome – addition to any company or even the marketplace, making those connections, relational selling. I mean, that's so valuable in today's economy for sure. Thank you for sharing that, Jerry. Yeah, yeah on the, absolutely. On the flip side then, what are some of the challenges that a connector faces? Yeah, so uh, the biggest challenge that, um, that was really big for me was learning that because as a connector I'm wired so relational, whenever you know, whenever I run into someone that has to, to give constructive criticism or negative feedback, it feels very like that web or that branch was broken off or disconnected. And so to understand that it's not personal, I mean, it is personal, but not to receive it as personal and say, okay, this is, um, you know, they're telling me this because they truly care and they want to see me grow as an individual. So I think for me, that was the biggest um, area of maturity and growth was just learning that, hey, this is necessary and this is going to be something that's always difficult to receive, but I need to receive it. So, yeah, yeah definitely that's hard as a connector. Yeah, thanks for being open and honest about that. I think that's something that uh, connectors in particular um, have a challenge with, but certainly all of us can struggle with that. So thanks for sharing that and that honesty. Yeah. Um, here is a connector in the wild, guys. Jeremy Martin, thanks so much for – giving us your, your thoughts on who you are and, and how you see a connector's value. Hey, you're welcome, Josh. Thanks for sharing the time with me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a great day, man. All right, you too.